Um, hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know how to start this thing. Hi folks. It's Alex here. If you've never seen this channel, I'm Alex and uh, it's a little bit too late because I am moving <laughs> out of Taiwan. That's not clickbait. I really am. I'm moving, I'm packing up everything and going back to Canada. And uh, that's why I don't really know how to start this video. There's just so much to unpack. I guess, I guess we'll just get into it and see where this video takes us. It's the second last video I'll be making in Taiwan before I start making videos in Canada. So get comfy and stay tuned and welcome back to Vaughn's World. The whole point of this solo mission to Hualien is kind of just to get my head straight. You know, there's a lot to unpack, as I said before, about me leaving Taiwan. Um, there's, there's a lot to think about. And one of the ways that I do that is by making a video. Even if it doesn't really unpack it for you, it kind of helps me sort it out. I think, in a way, moving back to Canada is actually more difficult than it was to move to Taiwan. I mean, when I, when I was leaving Canada to come here, I knew that all most of the things that I was leaving behind in Canada would still be there when I got back. But now leaving Taiwan, I can't say this the same thing. I mean, when I leave here, um, if I were to return in a couple years, everything would be completely different. A few things would remain the same. And I think Hualien is one of them. It's weird. Weird mix, mixed bag of emotions for sure. Today is Friday, February 4th, which means it's near the end of the Lunar New Year holiday here in Taiwan. And if you don't know, the Lunar New Year is basically like any other New Year like that we have in the West. It marks the beginning of a calendar year. Um, but the Lunar New Year marks the beginning of a calendar year whose months uh, depend on the lunar cycle. And so that usually ends up meaning that uh, the Lunar New Year happens somewhere between near the end of January or the beginning of February, but it can shift around and it does change every year. Um, so most people are not in Taipei, most people are traveling and a lot of people are off work right now, but this is near the end. So people are going home and going back to work, probably with massive hangovers. And where's Hualien you ask? Well, it's about halfway down the island on the east coast the island of Taiwan, which is south of China and east of Vietnam, west of Japan. Okay, let's keep going. So how do you celebrate the Lunar New Year, you ask? Well, if you're Taiwanese, you probably go back to your hometown, push Granny into the kitchen, and she'll start cranking out the dishes and you'll just uh, eat food. Pretty much like any tradition anywhere in the world, you go home and you eat and drink. Um, but if you're a Westerner here, you usually travel. And that's why if you look at all my other videos, you'll notice that this is around the time of year where I make the most videos. And that's because this is the time of year when I'm traveling. And this year's no different. It's just that the 
the big adventure that we're having this year is the adventure home back to Canada. Definitely I'll be back to Taiwan. I'll probably come back every year if I'm able to. There's too many good people and too many good things here that, you know, have become family and home. Good morning. The plan for today is quite simple. Turns out I cannot rent a scooter here in Hualien. Not right now, anyway. The place I usually get them is closed, and most of the other places won't rent to foreigners, which is unfortunate. So for now, I'm just going to go and try and get a haircut. I might do a live stream later, which I haven't done yet before. I've done it once just to try it out, but I'm going to do it again for real this time. Happy New Year! <laughs> this guy here. It was a good breakfast, but now it's time for uh, a little snippy snip. I'll see you guys on the other side. Wish me luck. I feel like I look the exact same as I did before. I was in there for like an hour. My head was the stage to a ballet of snipping scissors. And I smell like coconuts and lavender, but I pretty much look exactly the same. And right now I'm gonna go home and shower because I'm not one of those insane types of people that can get a haircut and go all day without showering. So I'm gonna deal with that right now. Is this a good video? You're watching me go to Hualien to get a haircut? Don't worry, tomorrow we'll hook up with Jason and then uh, the whole vibe of the video will change. I guarantee you that. That's what Jason does. So, do you guys remember how I told you that I was going to see Jason tomorrow? Well, he found out that I was in Hualien already. And then he just called me on the phone. He's like, what are you doing? Come for dinner. <laughs> so I'm going to his place for dinner, which is great because I was just looking for something to eat. And nothing seemed uh, appealing to me. And then Jason sent me this picture of what he's cooking. And it's like... Of course it's good. Plus I love to see Jason. I just didn't want to bother him a day earlier than what I told him I was going to. The weather's perfect. Uh, I still haven't live streamed. I'm gonna do that at nine. And like, just look at the scene right here. It's beautiful, right? Just like that cool ocean breeze and the palm trees and it's perfect. Honestly, it's the best place in Taiwan. If I come back, to Taiwan. If I move back to Taiwan, I'm living in Hualien, for sure. Hey! Hey! Look who it is! <laughs> Dude, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's what you the hell? To open it. Yeah. So uh, we just open it. Yeah, we got a flat top. Oh yeah. Stove. Jason showed me the Mitsubishi truck out back that he converted into a Volkswagen styled food truck, which marks the next evolution of his entrepreneurial spirit. Something you should definitely keep an eye on if you yourself come to Walien. If you come, look in the description, I'll put a location as to where his food truck is. It might be open, it might not. It's luck, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> just, you know? Yeah. Who knows? Maybe you can follow my, my Instagram. Uh, we, we have a fans page, Jose yeah. Bogato. Oh, well, shit. It's, yeah, it's called so, Jose Bogato. There you go. I'll put, yeah. put the link to that in the description. Yeah. <laughs> cool, man. Good morning. We are going to Jason's. I'm transferring from my hotel to Jason's. Checkout's at 11. It's 11 now. 
a lot of my closest friends in Taiwan are coming to Hualien. Ollie's coming tomorrow. And it should be a nice uh, last travel. Anyway, Jason's trying to call me, so I'll, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you a little bit later. He's no doubt hungry for breakfast as well. So we'll, we'll see. The sky was grey and overcast and made any bright colours dull, accentuating the earth tones I've come to associate with Wally Ann over the years. We hit all our favourite hidden gem restaurants and snack stands and picked up a whole galaxy of different tasty treats to have for brunch. came to this beach here to sit down and have our snacks, as you can see. It's a little bit chilly, but it's nice. Nice breeze, nice dry air, super fresh. Check out the color of this, how blue it is. Isn't that crazy? It almost looks like candy. Tiffany blue. Tiffany blue. Yeah. Wally and blue. Wally and blue. You can see the mountains are kind of covered in clouds. This is a beautiful spot. I don't know how to get here, so I'm not going to tell you, and I don't want you to come anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but the dumpling style, like stuffing mm. thing in the mm -hmm. in the. This one is um, what's it called again? Zuro shenbin. Zuro shenbin. Shenbin. Okay. It's like minced pork and. Um, spices and stuff like that. Yeah. Look at that. Later on, our friends came to town and we did what we do best. We sat around, talked, and ate. Well, Jason did what he does best. He cooked, he ate, and he made everyone feel like family. Oh, yeah. You want to eat the Taiwan? Then we're gonna eat the Takido. After a quick tour of his magical kitchen, it was finally time to turn the camera off and drift into the evening hours. Good morning. Ollie came in late last night. Her train was an hour late, which is fine. Our good buddy Jason is cooking breakfast and then he's got to do a tattoo later. It's a little bit chilly today. It's probably like 12 or 13 degrees, uh, but it's not raining. It's nice and sunny. It's perfect. Maybe we'll get a scooter. Maybe we won't. We don't know. Jason outdid himself and fed us a meal that we will never forget. Tacos, pico de gallo, enchiladas, mango salad, and plenty of other bits and bites. Nobody could speak, and everybody was lost in their own world of splendor and amazement. Afterwards, we walked around in search for a scooter and eventually found one to rent from a parrot.
All right, we've got our scooters for the next few hours. This is it here, this little Yamaha. It's an electric one this time, it's not gas powered, which I like, I'm all down for the electric stuff. That's the big one. Ollie and I will be on that one. And then the other two are gonna get little tiny ones. I'll show them to you in a second, but. drove all over the place with no real goal in mind other than to be together before Jessica and Arthur would have to go back to Taipei. Every couple of hours they would cancel their train tickets and book an even later train. My plan to convince them to stay another night was within reach, and Ollie and I felt their love as they truly struggled to figure out a way to stay with us longer. Scooter? Mm. Okay. You, you need a key. Okay. All you have to think about is that that's a brake, that's a brake. So do you brake both at the same time? You brake with this one first, and then if you need more stopping power, you use that one. Oh. The first one. This is the, acceleration? That's, yeah, acceleration. Going this way? Nope, holding like this. Oh, back? Yeah. Wow, that makes no sense. Okay. And that's all there is to know. Accelerate, brake, Can you brake. Do you have the key? No. Oh. I'm just going <laughs> manual. Turn it clockwise. Is this in? Well, not yet. This is in. Is that oh, in? That's in. Turn it clockwise. <laughs> all the way. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think that's it's all on. the way. It's on. It's on. It's a lay. Okay. So now all you're going to do <laughs> is just twist this and really slowly until you feel it pull you. And then put your feet on the thing. Oh. And when, one foot on there. And just, just nice smooth movements. If you get scared, just <laughs> relax this. That wasn't that see? <laughs> nice and slow. Okay. And then it's just literally like a bicycle that you don't pedal. Oh my god. <laughs> Go back. Just like you that. Just, just like that. Really? Yeah, there's no reverse. That would be insanely dangerous. <laughs> You're doing good. High five. Good job. Okay. Okay. Watch the truck. made it. We're back. No injuries. We survived. The scooters were great. The electric scooters are, they're all right. They go about half as fast as you want them to, but they're quiet. 
So you can actually hear the birds and the barking dogs and the sneezing people and the chewing of betel nut and the spitting of phlegm. So that's good. It's a more visceral 4D experience. The visor was shit. Didn't do anything for me. But the experience was great. And Jessica there, first time riding on a scooter through rush hour traffic in the city. Handled it like a champ. No band-aids needed. And now we're just back at the hostel on the roof. Jason's doing a tattoo downstairs. So we're trying to be nice and leave him alone. And we're gonna sort out some dinner. Also, for the first time ever in my entire life, it didn't rain on the scooter today. Call it good luck, call it good company. You know, the gods were with us, whatever it is, but it didn't rain. Maybe, maybe my life is turning around just in time for me to leave <laughs> Asia. <laughs> but that's good. Look at the clouds, see that? They even look like they're gonna rain, they never did. It's pretty good. The weather today is incredible. It's brisk, but it's really sunny. It's very similar to like a Canadian spring, which is great. I think Olivia's on the phone with the airplane people, because we have to get a seat for Nova, the dog. You can't just take a dog on the plane. You gotta tell the airline, that's what she's doing. We're leaving Hualien today, of course, on the best weather day of the year. Uh, but first, Jason's gonna take us to go get some food. The long journey home started that morning in Jason's car. I was watching the scene scroll by the window, but I was only seeing the thoughts in my mind fall into darkness as I contemplated and lamented over the first goodbye I would soon have to make on this island. Jason was smiling as usual, talking about the next stop we had to make, just as he always did, telling us how the food there was going to be perfect, just as it always was. Whether by design or mistake, he drove us past all the significant places. The first hostel, his old shop where I got my first tattoo only a day after meeting him, the second hostel, and the place where my mom forced him to dance to Billy Idol. I was watching a documentary of my own life as I was living it. Five years scrolled past the window beside me while he chuckled and pointed out the best dumplings or hot pots. I first noted Olivia's silence in the back seat, and then I noticed my own. My jaw clenched together. It became impossible to speak to the man who turned Taiwan into a home worth living in. I wanted to say thank you in some profound, memorable way and tell him about the impact he had on my life. And all that came was a silence. But I think he knows. A goodbye was inevitable, and before we could pull it together, his car was gone and we were on the train. How do you see so that your eyes will remember? How do you convince your ears and nose to hold on to the sweetness of the world around you? How do you keep your memories from fading? Is it better to know you're doing something for the last time while it's happening? Are the decisions I'm making now the foundation of some future tragedy? Or does life get even better than this? Because if it does, I can't imagine it now. For the first time in my life, the train ride back to Taipei was too short. See you 
the next one, folks. <laughs>